Want to transform your Silk Song experience with custom skins? In this video, I'll show you exactly how to install any skin mod in under 5 minutes, even if you've never modded before. Let's get started. Before you get those skins working, quick 30 second Beppin X setup if you're new to modding. First, grab Beppin X from Nexus Mods, link in the description. To download it, click the manual button, then click Slow Download. Once the download's finished, open your Silksong game folder and drag all the files you just downloaded into it. Now launch Silksong once. Once in game, press F1 and you should see this console window pop up. That means it's working. Now you can close the game. Perfect, Beppin X is ready. Now let's install those custom skins. Now grab the Silksong customizer. In your Silk Song folder, open Bepinex, then Plugins. This is where all your mods live. Then in here, create a folder called Customizer. Then extract the contents into the Customizer folder you just created. The next thing we need is Customizer T2D. This is found in the file section of the Cute Hornet mod. This is a plugin required for T2D textures to work. Then extract a customizer T2D download into the plugins folder. Now start the game once to create a mod folder in Hollow Knight Silk Song data. Then in mods, customizer, create a folder for the skin. The skin I'm going to download is the Stars and Sparkles skin. Open up the download. Then extract everything into the skin folder you made. And that's it, the skin is installed. To switch between skins, delete all active.txt files for the skin you're not using, and keep it for the skin you want to use. Just a heads up, if you have multiple skins in your skins folder, some of the textures will still show up due to us using the customizer T2D mod. I found two methods to resolve this. Method 1. Disable Customizer T2D. To do this, just add .disable to the end of the .dll file. This will ensure there is no overlapping assets. The only drawback is that some textures will be the default. Method 2. Rename the skin folder so it's on the bottom. I just add Z to the front. This will fix everything except for the double jump particles from the Stars and Sparkles skin. This may not be the best solution, but one solution I found was to create a folder and put the assets into it. And that's everything you need to know about installing custom skins. Now if you want to take your Silksong experience even further, I've got a complete modding guide that covers everything you need to know on how to install mods. Comment down below if you guys have any questions and subscribe if you want more Silksong guides. Thanks for watching. Hey, <laughs>